All right, folks, today I'm going to go over my gear list of my ATV. I've got a Sportsman 570 here. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I carry on my bike full time, no matter what the season. The only thing that I really interchange out is uh, maybe the jackets, uh, rain gear, stuff for the cold weather. Because here in Canada, we can reach from plus 30 to negative 30. So uh, everything else I'm going to go over today is stuff that I carry on my bike full time all the time. Let's check it out. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out of my front storage box that's under the lid here. Something unique uh, with the Sportsman model. Then I'm gonna move over to the trunk and then into my little toolbox that I have down here. All right, so under the front storage box, these are the items that I carry up front, kind of ease of access. So I've uh, got a headlamp here, waterproof flashlight, it's nice to be able to go from uh, your head to your just your hand. It's got some cables here just for my phone. Got a couple ways to start fire. So here I got a fire steel, magnesium block, a couple uh, matches. These are fuel tabs. Once you light these up, they uh, they burn for quite a while. And then here I got some pieces of fatwood that I found a couple months ago. Then I got this really old knife. I've had this for years and years and years. It's not really anything special, but uh, I don't even know where I got this, but I keep it sharp and I leave it on the bike. I also bring my Moor knife. This is a carbon steel one, really sharp, great for some bush craft. And I got these riding gloves. I kind of leave them here even though they're no good in the winter, but uh, they're just a spare set of gloves. Got batteries for my lights. That's just some paperwork. Uh, obviously a big thing that people don't bring, spare belt. These can range anywhere from under a hundred, over a hundred dollars, and maybe even higher, depend on your bike, but it's always good to have a spare belt. Then I got some bungee cords just to tie down, uh, say, um, a backpack if I decide to bring one one day. I'll usually strap it down to this here. Okay, and the next thing we have is a tire pump. This is one of those things that, uh, I didn't realize I needed until I punctured my tire. And I used to bring those CO2 canisters and you just kind of one shot inflate your tire. But if you got a hole, even if you plug it, it may uh, leak slowly. And once you go through a few of those canisters, you're out and you're done. So this here, it's an electrical pump. I got a 12 volt uh, outlet right here. So that plugs into it. And uh, even if you're slowly leaking air, you can just keep topping up your tire till you get yourself out of the woods. So Highly recommend getting a tire pump. All right, so here's the items that I carry in my trunk. Um, there's not too much there. Obviously, uh, food and water gets thrown in as required. Uh, first thing, obviously, some TP and baby wipes. Then I got myself a first aid kit. Uh, just a rag I throw in there. Then over here, I got a few tools. Uh, I got a machete. Then this uh, steel post here, which looks like a steel post, is actually a trailblazer saw. I've had that for like 10 years now. And then I got myself a hatchet. Then I just got a stainless steel cup and a spork, just so I can put that on the fire to heat up water or cook food. Then I have a piece of tarp. This is just your cheap plastic tarp that I picked up at Canadian Tire. I have some paracord attached to it. Um, just kind of rolled up and thrown in there. This is a boat 10 by 13 I believe. Anyway, if you're in a pinch you can make, make a nice little shelter out of it. In case you get caught in a rainstorm or whatnot. Or lost in the woods and you need some shelter. And some rain gear. So it's not cold enough for all the winter gear yet and it's still raining so for now, this is kind of the gear I have. Uh, I'll interchange this rain gear out for some winter gear as it gets a little colder, we get snow. But for now, I got the rain gear on. And that's the gear I carry in the trunk. All right, so in my smaller trunk, this is kind of where I keep most of my tools to repair the bike. Um, this is just a screwdriver. And there's a case of bits that fit it, so I can uh, switch between a whole bunch of different bits. And all these different sizes fit on my bike. I've got two adjustable wrenches, just for different things. These pliers. 
And down here, this is just to remove the spark plug, and I carry a spare spark plug. This is uh, just another tool that came with this kit here. Tire pressure, gauge, and uh, repair kit. I think I did use one out of this already on my stock tires. I hit a spike, so I needed that. Bunch of paracord, uh, just for random stuff. Maybe use it with the tarp. Then I have this uh, pulley system. It's for the winch. It's uh, just to assist in giving you some more power when you're pulled. I forget what this is called. So if you guys know, just leave it in the comments below. Kind of forget the name of that there. Then we got some zap straps and some duct tape and electrical tape. So that all lives in my trunk. Oh, and uh, got some work gloves. And it's all sitting on another rag. So yeah, that's all the stuff I carry in that trunk there. And the last piece of gear is my Garmin E-Trex 20. That just sits up front here so I can kind of see where I'm going. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, folks, so that's everything I carry on my bike full time, all four seasons here in Canada. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. That'll help me out and some other people that might be watching this video. So. Uh, Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.